So excited that you're here. As always, welcome to the 90 Day Blitz. We're on week four. For how you're the secret genie, you know all the things you have been here. And if you have not, please, please follow it in order. I'd love to have you on day one, two, three, four, all the way to right now because it follows in order. They are the 12 lessons and concepts and everything that you need to master what's in here so you can have it in your hand financially, physically, emotionally, mentally, with your relationships, with your wealth, abundance, all the things. You deserve a creative and innovative life. You deserve to have everything that you desire. You deserve to have every freaking thing on that shopping list from week one that you learned. And if you don't know that yet, please adopt my belief in you for real. As soon as you find value, from this video, drop me a comment, drop me a like. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to ring the bell every single time I post inside this playlist so that you can be in the know instantly. Proximity is key. For those who work with me, you hear me say that all the time. When you're near something and you're purposeful about that, you will become like the thing. And if you want to master your mind, please learn from someone who has mastered these concepts. I feel like I can be magical with the things I manifest, the things that I bring into my life, the people, the situations, the thoughts, the feelings, the ambitions, because I have mastered these 12 concepts over this 90-day blitz. And if you want the same and you want to go attain even better, even better than ever imagined before where you are jaw dropped, you've got to be in proximity for things. You've got to be intentional about what it is you're consuming. All right? Now, Inside of this video, I'm going to quote James Allen. He wrote the book, As a Man Thinketh. I want you to write down this quote. Feel free to look it up if you want to, you know, put it somewhere and remember it, whatever works for you. He says, environment, oop, already, nope, I switched it up. We think in secret and it comes to pass. Environment is but our looking glass. So I switched it up at the beginning. I said environment first. I'll say it again. We think in secret and it comes to pass. Environment is but our looking glass. Okay, just let that sink in for a second. What the heck is she saying? Who the heck is this James Allen guy, right? If everything that we have is out here and it's perceived back to us like a mirror, could it be that everything we experience is trying to tell us something about the perceptions that we hold? Okay. You've heard it before. You'll hear it again, especially on our next week, week five in this 90 day blitz. What are the things that you are hearing, smelling, seeing, tasting, and touching? What are those five senses really helping you out with? Because if James Allen is right, which he is, I could take it to my grave. I believe every single word from his book, as man thinketh, go get it. If you haven't already, when he says, we think in secret and it comes to pass. We think in secret. We have these thoughts. We don't express everything, right? We have thoughts running around all day long. That mental activity happening, the noise, right? We think in secret and it comes to pass. Environment is but our looking glass. If environment is our looking glass, and let's just say James is right. Let's say this is absolute. It's science. It's fact, which it is. But let's just say, let's say it's a theory. Wouldn't you want to take that theory and really maximize it? Wouldn't you want to take that theory and really scale it and magnify? Okay, James, I'm going to test your quote. If I'm going to perceive everything and anything differently and not rely on my five senses, what I see, smell, taste, touch here, if I'm going to challenge and flip the script and do all these things that I'm suggesting, that Kirsty is suggesting here, if that's what you're thinking, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll do the things that Kirsty is suggesting. I'll believe in James's quote. You just wait. You watch your life change. When you can understand that life is a mirror and everything that is outside is reflecting based on what you have on the inside, when you can understand that stemmed from you, you're the root, you're the cause, just like we learned about the other day, yesterday, right? When you can understand that, you will completely shift your life. You will be magical. You will. You are the genie to your life. You have all the wishes in your hand. It's just a matter of you actually accepting them, believing them, having them because you become them. I hope you wrote that down. That was very, very good. Drop me a comment on this video if you have a thought or question. Give a like if you found value and we'll see you on the next day with Grace Kirsty.